Hello and welcome to a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Something new, something different. Today, we're going to attempt to start a career <laughs> as a pilot. Uh, so we're going to set about, do what we need to do to get our licenses, clock up some hours, all that good stuff. So let's jump in and let's see if we can turn this digital farmer into a digital pilot. Let's go. So that was a nice little intro. Um, a lot of routes that we can take our career in, by the looks of it. Many, many, way beyond anything I'm ever going to be able to accomplish. I'll be happy if we can get the plane up and down, smooth, um, and not crash like every other flight. That would be nice. So rise of a pilot, choose any location in the world where you want to start your career. Well, I am naturally going to go home, as I'm sure many do, when they do this, so we are going to take Norwich International Airport, EGSH as it is now. This is going to be our home airport location. I live over here, I used to live here, so this is what we're going to take. It's a pretty smooth load screen there. So this is very much it. I like this little pan around because we're going to let everything pop in for a second so we can have a little look around. Because obviously I know the area very well. So when we go, if we, if we get to the point that we do some sightseeing and stuff like that, I'll be able to point stuff out like a, like a real pilot that knows what he's doing. And I'm just waiting for the road to swing round so I can go. I used to live here. <laughs> That's where I used to live. Right. <laughs> Let's go. That's me, <laughs> all dressed in black as we do. Hello there. You must be Mr. Farquhar, right? I am. Well done. That is me. I am Mr. Farquhar. That is me. The, my biggest gripe in doing this, you know, disclaimer, I've I've logged nine hours, I think, of flight time. Maybe a little bit more. Um, mainly through tutorials, trying to do the training so I can be half decent enough to get here, because this is my first flight sim. I did a little bit of the... Um, 2020 but not a lot and none of the training i just you know throttled down up in the air let's fly around and see what's about never did much else than that normally crash to land so i have got some hours do you know a little bit not a lot of it welcome to norwich i'm scott the owner of this aero club right that's not how we say it. it's norwich and then that'll be my second little gripe the 
<laughs> we're going to gripe away. The, the voices are completely 100% AI generated and are 99.9% .9 awful. Here at the club, we provide all the training lessons you need to get started and earn your private pilot license. Okay, cool. Looks, looks decent enough. Then, once you've earned your PPL, you can build up your flight hours and get more experience by taking people out on first flights. Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to earn our PPL. But before any of that, let's head outside and take a flight to get familiar with our aircraft and the local surroundings. Oh, let's... Let's do that. Scott and Mr. Bookware. Welcome to the apron. This is where all our flying adventures begin. Why don't you walk around a bit while I finish the pre-flight preparations? Okay, so we look around, we move about. I'm going to be doing a lot of this on controller. Today I don't have a loop or anything. Today we will be flying a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. It's the main trainer airplane in our flight school. Cool. Our Cessna's got a glass cockpit and a 180 horsepower engine. Climbs well and is easy to fly. It's one sweet ride. It's I'm one ready sweet if ride. you are, so hop in and buckle up. I might Let have to change the sensitivity roll. of my mouse because that was a little bit janky there. But yeah, we're, we're going to be doing a mixture of um, controller and keyboard for this. So we have to go on enter. Get in the plane. Welcome aboard. While you settle in, let's go over our flight plan. After taking off, we will climb to 1,600 feet above sea level and then fly over the airport to enjoy the view. Ready? Why don't you start the engine for us? Will do. Now, eventually we'll go through proper procedures and start the plane. Perfect. But for this the wind stuff, is from 270 just degrees direction with a speed of 9 knots, so we'll be taking off from runway 27. Okay, let me taxi to the runway. Just turn that on. Some of the flight controls, I know. Some of the autopilot stuff I've been trying to learn. We can switch between cockpit and external view. All right, now comes the fun part. After releasing the brakes and applying full power, we will speed up and take off once we reach 60 knots airspeed. We will be climbing at 139 kilometers per hour, which is the recommended climbing speed for the Cessna Skyhawk. While climbing, we will follow a left-hand traffic pattern and make two turns. Don't worry if it sounds overwhelming, I am here to help. Release the parking brakes, otherwise we're not going anywhere. So they'll pop up with some um, controls up here. Sometimes it'll be keyboard, sometimes it'll be controller. Um, but they'll also give us an eye indicator of what we need to do. So we just turn Ready off for that. takeoff? Apply full power to get us moving. Will do. So we'll just apply throttle. You handle the yoke, and I'll take care of the pedals, okay. steering the aircraft on the runway during takeoff. So we want around, what did he say? 55, 60? We have reached 102 kilometers per hour. Pull the yoke a little bit to lift off. There we are. We are flying. So now we need to try and follow around with what he tells us to do, I think. Don't pull on the yoke too much or we'll lose speed. Keep the nose of the aircraft just above the horizon. Okay, so we'll level ourselves out a little bit. Perfect climbing attitude and speed. I see you know what you're doing. Yes, mate. Good. Maintain this speed and attitude for now. I mean, we, want... we are 300 feet above the ground. I will retract the flaps. Yeah. You keep climbing. We are approaching our first turn. As you'll see, the Cessna 172 requires very little yoke movement to turn. Oh, we got the gates on for this. We'll take that. I've been trying not to use the gates in my sort of test and training. Just want to try, sort of trim out a little bit more. Okay. 
take a little speed off the engine. Keep climbing and prepare for the next turn. Let's get that down to 2300. Engine speed. Maybe should still be good. Okay, turn left again. We are almost there. We are almost there. Remember, we need to climb to 1,600 feet. It will keep us 500 feet above the traffic pattern. That's fine. Our 12% trim should sort of keep us on a nice climb. I love the weather today. The clouds are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, it looks beautiful, yeah. Indeed. So now we want a little bit more of a climb. Just hit the altitude that he wants. See, we're following the gates, but we're not actually. There we are, 1,600 feet GPS above line. sea level and 500 feet above the traffic pattern. We have safe separation with the other airplanes. Okay. Look around, see our airport. Let's fly over it. So that's our airport. Norwich. So we'll take a left, try and come down along the horizon. And again, we're doing this with a controller, so I'm a little it's a little bit janky with a controller, it's not as awesome. finesse. I know that you're busy navigating and controlling the plane, but don't forget to enjoy the view. Whatever, mate. All about that view. So if he's gonna let us I mean, Ooh, we've got a little bit of wind. I wasn't gonna stick my head out the window, but we got a little bit of wind. Well done. I believe you have a talent for piloting. Do <laughs> you? <Yeah>. I hope <laughs> you enjoyed the flight. Let's head back to the ground now. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do that for us. Very kind. I'm glad that we flew together today. This might be the first chapter in your pilot's journey, if you want to embark on it. Let's catch up at our headquarters. Let's do that. Cheers, Scott. Natural, you see. You seemed comfortable out there. I'm sure you will get your PPL in no time. No doubt. So, continue next. There's a laptop in the office that shows all the certification information you'll need for your PPL exam. Take a look. Okay, so we're going to head to the office. Yeah, so what I was going to say is we're on controller. I might, if I get into this, this does well. I might see if I can acquire a yoke and maybe a throttle and a few controls. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um, so head to the certification pass. Now this is what made me want to give this a try. Flight, flight sims are cool, but it's the, the career path. Here you and can all this see all the different certifications you can pass throughout your career. So you come in with your PPL, this is what we've got to get. And then we can choose to go like commercial pilot license. Then you've got your rotorcraft, so that's your helicopters. Your first step is to work towards your private pilot license. Which is awesome. And then if we go across, we can then go for our commercial pilot license. And then from there, that then opens up um, Tailwheel endorsements, high performance endorsements, multi engine rating, instrument ratings, um, night, um, currency airplane, and then further along, we've got turboprop, jet engines, uh, airline transport pilot license, to scoop endorsements, um, turboprop airline transport pilot rating. Jet airline transport pilot rating, and then heavy airliners, and then on the other direction, which I think is probably going to be a little harder, the uh, rotorcraft, uh, turbine engine rating, power lift rating, airline transport pilot license, uh, hoist endorsements, and hook endorsements. But then that opens up different missions, different career paths, and things you can do. But we need to focus on our private pilot license. And that's going to cost us 2,000 credits. You have to pay for it. So you have to, that's why you need to get your license to, to do contracts to, to make money. 
It allows you to fly, fly a single engine airplane in good weather conditions and perform takeoffs and landings from land. Private pilots cannot fly aircraft for commercial purposes. So we can do, um, like it says, you do first, first flights. We can take people out on tours, but we earn no money from it. All the training lessons you'll need to pass the PPL exam are available here. Make sure you're comfortable with these before taking the exam. Okay. So if we go through the training, as you can see, I've, I've done a fair chunk of them in, in trying to get better. Some of them, not so good. We've got B rating on pitch and attitude. I've got bad attitude. Um, rolls is a B. Power settings, maneuver test, um, pre-flight. Uh, Takeoffs, landings with yoke management. A lot of these we saw Obviously, as they get more complex, the more challenging they are, they drop. And I think my first solo flight on my own um, only got a C. But I think that is beyond the private pilot license anyway. So we're going to jump straight in, I think. And we're just going to try and take the exam. It's going to cost us 2000 So we pretty much have two attempts at this. And then we've got to get it right. And that will open up these planes. The Robin hasn't loaded in yet. Uh, so it'll give us the Cessna Skyhawk, which is what we'll take in, the uh, JMB, and then the flight design. That's what that'll open up for us. So uh, we'll, we'll try and take the exam, and uh, hopefully it'll go well. So, Tom, uh, pass your private pilot license, your PPL. This is your ticket into the world of aviation. For this practical test, you will need to complete a standard traffic pattern, follow the flight plan, apply what you've learned in your training, fly safely, and you'll get your license. Traffic patterns are generally flown at an altitude of 1,000 feet, as opposed to MSL. Each section of the pattern is referred to as a leg. Okay, so we'll give it a crack. So we've got to take off, climb, climb, Stay level, hit base, then start to descend on the final approach, and then land. Let's go. Ooh. That's enough to trip you out, isn't it? time your first ever check ride start by removing the covers and chocks then join me inside okay so we have to take off the covers from the front of the plane you then have the static port cover and then the is that the pit top cover no that chocks are down here this isn't our plane so we don't have to check everything but if you want you can Stare at the left tire, make sure that's all right. It's new, it's the, the, the strut and stuff like that. If we had our own plane, we'd go around and we'd check everything. So if you duck under here, come up, you'd come, press to interact with, we check that the uh, the ailerons are working. Come in and we check that the flaps are all right. That sort of thing. Check that there's no uh, baggage stowed that shouldn't be there. So let's get in. Right, so we shall complete startup procedure. Your goal is to complete a left-hand traffic pattern, respecting the flight path and all required speeds. Rely on what you have learned in your trainings and you'll be fine. Now show me the best traffic pattern that you've got. Will do. Now this screen doesn't come on unless you turn it on. Which you have to do with that one. And then that sort of brings this over here. So we're going to request taxi clearance. Norwich Ground FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie 9 or 5 1 1 with Alpha request taxi for takeoff. East departure. FARQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie 9 or 5 1 1 taxi to and hold short of runway 27 using taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on one two four decimal two five five when ready. Knowledge. 
Taxi 2 and hold short runway 27 using taxiway Alpha Fark 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 511. Okay, so now we have to start to taxi. I do need to put the uh, the train in <laughs> a bit on for this. We might keep them on just for the license actually. So taxiing, I really struggle with. More to the point of speeds for taxiing. Right, to get myself going. And then they end up going too fast. And then we end up stopping short. So we'll see how we do. If if anyone knows like the the best engine speed to have for taxiing. Drop it down in the comments. And I'm still in the habit of trying to steer my plane with my yoke rather than uh, with the rudder on the back. But we've got. 1100 meters until we hit our short hold so we're gonna we're gonna jump to that okay so we're coming up on our short stop and we want to break in here hopefully just just about so we'll Request take off. Norwich Tower FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5 11 at runway 27 ready for departure departure to the east. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5 11 QNH 101 tree east departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27. Knowledge. Cleared for takeoff runway. 27 FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 511. I'm coming in way too quick again. That hasn't gone well. Should have just kept with the speed and turned into it, but never mind. Good start, good start. So we're not getting points. I told you I struggle with I struggle with the taxi in so much. I'm, I'm like all or nothing. Right, let's see what we can do here. We can rectify the rest of it now. And we're pretty much taking this a similar pattern to what we flew with uh, Scott earlier. So we start to lift. I'm 600 feet. I mean, we didn't take off with any trim or any flap, so that was bad. So let's try and add the trim now. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5. 1 1 continue for east departure. Knowledge. Norwich Tower FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5 1 1 continue don't for sink, east departure. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. Don't oh, I certainly sink, don't want to sink. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. I turn my head while I do this as well, so that'll happen. Gonna take off a little bit more trim. Eleven percent. He's off on the uh, throttle a little bit. So then we're gonna take the downwind. Trying to maintain our altitude. We're a little bit high. That'll soon drop off. As long as we stay in this sort of gated area. 
And uh, yeah, we'll we'll probably keep the gates on for a few of these. Let's bring the engine speed quite down. I want to get about 2800. Engine speed is probably below me, but I want to I want to try and be at about 80, 80 knots, I think. So So we're going to announce our full stop landing. Norwich Tower, FERQ, 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5, 1,400 feet to land. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5, 1, 1 Norwich Tower. QNH 101 Tree Enter Left Downwind Runway 27. Acknowledge that. Fly Left Downwind Runway 27 FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5, 1, 1. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5, 1 1 wind calm. Clear to land runway 27. Knowledge. Clear to land runway 27 FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5 1 1. So I think we probably could have gone out a little bit further. Have a look, solve it, but. Yeah, coming in way too fast. Probably add a little bit of trim. I'll put our flaps on to help slow us down a little bit. We should come in. Hopefully the speed will come down. Five hundred. We're all good, love. If you're telling me I'm coming in too fast, then we're uh, we're all fine. They're not going to like this speed. That's all. As I was saying to a friend not that long ago, this is how I tend to do it. So, we're a little bit, bit low. I'll let it come in, take some pace off. Oh, a little bit of a bounce. Let's see what they say about this. We may have to run again. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5 1 1 turn next taxiway. Do I need to acknowledge that one? I think we should have probably took that taxiway. We'll see if there's another for us. If we go up here, somewhere. FERQ 83, Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 5, 1 1 turn next taxiway. I'm uh, just checking whether he wants us to acknowledge that, but there's nothing asking us to. So we are just going to the end. It's fine. We came in, came in way too, way too quick to take that centre taxiway. FERQ eighty three, Mike Alpha Charlie Niner five, one one turn next taxiway. I'm pressing the acknowledge. So if they want us to acknowledge, I, I sort of am. FERQ 83, Mike Alpha, Charlie Niner 511, contact. Ground on 124 decimal 255. So this one we have to acknowledge the handoff. Going to 124 decimal 255, FERQ 83, Mike Alpha, Charlie Niner 511. Let's creep into there. Come to a stop. Request taxi to park in. Norwich ground FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 511 taxi to parking. FERQ 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 511 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Delta Alpha. Okay. 
Acknowledge. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via taxiway. Delta Alpha Fark 83 Mike Alpha Charlie Niner 511. Let's try not to speed. Let's just bring the engine back down again. Yeah, I don't know if there's a, a way other than using that down on the bottom left there to tell your speed. I find keeping it sort of 800 or below is probably best. There we go. So we've got to go find our, find our parking spot. Still feel like we're going a bit quick. Yeah, I can't find my way around the airports without the the arrows, unfortunately. Roll back up again to keep us moving. Roll back down again. Try and negotiate everyone else. If we fly from here a lot, then eventually I should learn it, hopefully. But this this does require me to do a lot of concentration, so I, I will no doubt talk a lot less in this than I do in anything else. But I will try and try and commentate what I'm doing. So I'm just using the rudder at the minute to, to steer the plane. There we go. And then we'll park it in here. I'm not I'm not sure if we passed with how quick we uh, came in. I didn't sort of drop off speed quick enough, unfortunately, I don't think. But we'll see. Full stop. Okay. Set the parking brake. Shut down. Great job. There's always room for improvement, right? Always. Oh, we got a B. Wow. That was better than I was expecting. I have done that before. And I put it in Discord purely for this reason. And I got an A. <laughs> I got an A rating. I knew I'd get less. I was expecting a C. But we we got a we got a high B, but with my training, I, I keep saying I said in the Discord, I think I'm like a B plus pilot. So if we get Bs, high Bs, that's that's where we're at. That's where we should be. Congratulations! Certification for the private pilot license airplane pass allows you to fly a single engine airplane in good weather conditions and perform takeoffs and landings from land. Private pilots cannot fly aircraft for commercial purposes. And we can now fly these planes, and out of those, the only ones I've flown is the Cessna 172 Skyhawk with the uh, the G1000 instrument. So, yeah, anything else is just way beyond me. Congratulations on passing your PPL exam. Hopefully, that's the first of many steps on your career path. Hopefully. Your PPL allows you to fly recreationally and begin to build up your flight hours. First flight missions are a great way to increase your experience. Let's go back to headquarters and review the specializations board to learn more. Let's. So specializations. As you can see, the career journey of a pilot can take many different paths. As I said earlier, your PPL is the first step, allowing you to fly recreationally and perform first flight missions taking people on tours around the local area. Okay. As you build up your flight hours and earn more certifications, other specializations will become available. Take a look around, then when you're ready, head to the missions list to see what's available. So we can, this is us, we are certified for first flights. So we wanna try and build our way up to ferry flights. So we need to be a level three pilot, we are level one and have our commercial pilot license 
or flight sightseeing, we need to be level 5. Level 8, with all these extra things. For me, I want to go the cargo route. We're, we're going to try and do <laughs> Barclay Freights, international, aeronautical style. Um, so yeah, there's lots of things to work towards. So the highest super heavy needs to be level 90. Airbus, level 70, 75. The firefighting, if we want to do that, level 60. Passenger transport. That sells a Boeing 737. I have flown a Boeing 737 in this simulator. Um, what other planes? If I could try and point out what other planes I've flown for you guys. There was a jet. I think it was the uh, yeah the TBM 930. I think it might have been. It might not have been actually. Might have been something a bit more than that. Charter Service Private. That probably be under here. Um, the Vision Jet, I believe it was. Yes. I think. I don't know now. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've flown, flown one of the jets. Anyway, yeah, we've got to do first flight missions and get some airtime. So, we'll have a little look at missions. On this map, you can see all the missions currently available to you. There's one mission currently available. Select it now. now. I'm going to go back to HQ because that's where we're going to end this first episode. So we have our uh, private pilot license. We've got our PPL. Just actually, we did better than I thought we were going to do. We've got our PPL. Um, our overall reputation is just C. Plus, so we need to improve that. And um, yeah, so next time out, we'll go, we'll do a mission or two, depending on how they go and uh, try and work our way up. Um, I'm going to try and do this as some pre-recorded, and then when we need to grind out to level up or to earn money or whatever, we might do some streams. Um, so I might mix this in and out. I was going to hold off until the new year on doing this, but I really want to get started on my career. I've had a lot of fun in doing free flights, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye